Earlier, we spoke with NASA astronaut Christina Cook about the significance of this mission. Now, she's a member of the Artemis team, and she's also got quite the resume. Listen to her numbers. She spent 328 consecutive days in space. That's the longest of any woman, and she conducted six spacewalks. Go, Christina. What are they looking for? Well, we're looking for a lot of different things. One of the primary missions is to make sure that the heat shield can withstand those reentry conditions. We'll be going a lot faster than we typically go when we come back from what we call low Earth orbit, which is where I went on the space station. So that's a primary objective. We're looking at all the different human factors that will become uh, in play when we put humans on the next vehicle, things like radiation, um, some of the life support things. So we're, we're doing a lot of testing. That thing is instrumented all the way up and down, and we can't wait to get the data back and see what's going to happen next. Christina, that, <clears throat> pardon me, that's the vehicle itself. What about putting feet on the moon again? Why is that important for the mission to Mars? You know, there's so many reasons why going back to the moon is is happening right now. This is the right time for it. We're going back to stay this time for innovation, for inspiration, and of course, for that interplanetary aspect of our next step onto Mars. We're gonna take the technologies, the operations, lessons that we learn, and we're gonna bring that on our next step. And really, that's all about searching for life, learning more about our solar system, the universe, and our place in it. So I can't wait to see all that unfold in the next decade. Christina, you could be part of the crew that actually steps foot on the moon first time in 50 years. Uh, that's, that's been uh, done. Uh, it'd be the south pole of the moon. Why is that area significant, if you could? There's a lot of scientific reasons we would go back to the South Pole, actually, um, one of which is water ice. That was a recent discovery there. So resources, resources that are there that we can use are exciting. There are craters there that actually never see the sun because of the sun angle and because of the, the depth of the crater. So there's a lot of really neat scientific reasons to go back to the South Pole. And the technology of this mission actually enables us to go to those different regions as opposed to the landing sites of the Apollo missions. And if you get to go, Christina, we'll be cheering you on. We'll be cheering you on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.